can turn this way, yo. Alright, so what up, man? NYC Auditor. What is up, people? What is going on, man? We living in a... We living in the last days, yo. We living in a... What they say New York is like Gotham City. It's crazy, man. It's crazy what was going on in the world, man. But all of us, man, we just got to stay positive. I um, wanted to just jump on here real, real quick and talk about a few things, man. Um, I don't know how long... I'm going to be talking to y'all for, I want to be rambling and, and talking about, um, talking to y'all about shit that I can save probably for another day. I'm going to try to like, just talk about a little few, you know, a few things here and there. Um, first of all, I want to say hey to everybody, all the subscribers, man, what's up? I uh, hope y'all being safe. Um. Hope everybody is, uh, is is working. And if you're not, I mean, I know you got some type of money coming in. Just want everybody to be um, okay, man. You know, during this time that we're in right now, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, but um, got to try to get through it some type of way, right? It's like survival mode. You got to try to survive and shit, right? Um, so... I wanted to talk about uh well obviously you guys know I'm not filming, I'm not I'm not I haven't been out doing videos. I got so much stuff that I got going on man. I got um I got a business that I'm running right now, so things is a little crazy. It's a little hectic. Um but um I haven't completely abandoned the the, the movement, the, the auditing movement. Um it's still something that I I have in my heart. I wear it. I'm I'm proud to to, to represent that. Um, going out there, you know, exercising our rights, right? And sometimes you can't do that every day. Like, I, shout out to the people who go out every day, though. Like, shout out to guys like dudes now in California who's always vocal about a lot of things, proactive. Um, these guys, man, um, and all these guys out there that's still out there that's doing the first amendment audit man shout out to you man salute to you um but like i always say yo everybody can do it like them you know what i'm saying like some people could do it every day and some people can't man um this is not a job where i gotta do every single single day like there's there's times where i've been able to do it and there's times where like, I couldn't do it. I was so backed up with other shit. I was so busy. And I just really didn't have the time for it, man. Um, you know, obviously, think, obviously, family and, you know, obviously my business that I got going on right now, that's something that's very, very important because it, you know, obviously it keeps it keeps money in my pocket. You know, it pays my bills. It, it, um, it keeps me and my family grounded. It keeps us, you know, um, okay. But I am, I'm not going to completely say that I'm done. I know a lot of people were saying that I was done, that I quit. I didn't quit. I didn't quit, man. I didn't quit. Don't think that. Um, I'm still on YouTube. I'm still looking at the shit that's going on. You know, we got to, we got to, um, we're living, like I said, man, we're living in the, uh, the last days, man, where a lot of shit's going on with, with protesting, um, you know, people being killed by police, um, you know, defunding the police. And I just wanted to talk about that because I'm seeing so many different things on YouTube about cops being, you know, uh, um, defunding the police and we don't need police. And I feel like, look, man, I've said it and I'm gonna keep saying it. There are, there are good cops out here. There are bad cops, right? A good cop won't let a bad cop violate somebody's rights. Let me say that again. A good cop, a good police officer, won't let his partner or anybody on a police force violate somebody's rights. If you're a good cop, I mean, if you're a bad cop, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna follow what whatever he, whatever your partner's doing or whatever the other cop's doing, 
you going you ain't gonna say nothing because you 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 don't want no smoke with them. You don't want them to feel like you're um you're on their side, like you're you're um you're on the citizen side. So I say this. I say take away the salaries of the bad cops. Don't completely defund the police. Like don't completely just say we don't need cops and then don't pay them. Half of them walking off the job anyway because they're a bunch of pussies and and they just they they, they just quit because they feel like but I, I get it though. I get it. I get why why a cop would quit. Because It's crazy, right? The other day I had a conversation with, with my cousin. And he's 17 and he wants to be a cop. And <laughs> as much as much videos I did about NYPD and as much videos I did about um, police brutality and all of that, I never ever um, want to see somebody dreams being taken away from them if that's something that he want to do if he want to become a police officer then that's his dream that's something that he want to do and me or nobody else can 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 take that away from him or at least try to take that away from him i told him i said yo i said i pray for you i hope that if this is something that you want to do i hope that you take this and Look at all the stuff that's been going on and just really educate yourself and learn from all of that. But in the process of all of that, you you become a good you be a good cop. You wear that uniform with 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 um respect, with dignity, and you and you represent your police department to the best to your ability. And don't slack, like don't 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 get get involved with the wrong crowd don't don't become a tyrant actually do something for your community actually you know help people listen to people wear that uniform and wear it proudly honor your oath so when we talking about defunding the police and we talking about we don't need cops i hear uh, a rapper my song saying that we don't need cops let's let let's let's the, the, the community the, the 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 citizens let us be the cops when we see shit in our neighborhood that we don't like let us do something about it let us you know that's a that's a hard thing to do for people to do it's it's hard for people to to, to do that it, it really is it really is yo i can't lie I, I can't sit up here and say that um taking away all police officers completely can you imagine if the whole NYPD quit and they just said fuck it we we not even we're not even going out there no more we get a call we're not even going to go we don't need that we don't need that because we got we got good cops out there but we got we got we got respectable um decent cops out there that will give you the shirt off their back if 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 they had to but I get it. It's hard to to keep reminding yourself that when you see the shit that's going on in America, when you see the innocent lives that's being taken, when you're seeing cops getting away with certain shit. But see now, and I'm gonna get back to my point. I'm gonna get back to my point about the whole defunding and about taking away taking away um the salary from cops and all of that, completely not giving them shit. I'm gonna get back to that point, right? Um I, I honestly, yo, it's 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 really messed up, yo. It's really messed up because it's like, I, and I'm getting off the subject, man, because I keep remembering when I was a little kid, when we seen a cop driving down the street in his police car, we always looked at them as heroes. And I'm pretty sure a lot of my subscribers, even if you're not a subscriber, um. You can relate to this. We always we saw cops as heroes. We saw cops as somebody that that would protect us no matter what. 
we wanted to be like them. We wanted to get in their police car. We wanted to, to we wanted them to. We, it's just like, you know, like you like like, a, like when you was a kid. You know, like when you was a kid. When like with me, when I was a kid, I used to like wrestling. I used to, I used to love watching these wrestlers wrestle, man. I couldn't. I would do anything to like to go see them wrestle at that time. So there's kids out there that look at cops like that. They look at cops as being heroes. But now you got six and seven, eight year olds that are like, Mommy, why 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 are cops bad? Why are cops killing killing us? These kids are woke, man. They're they're I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, yo. I, I, I'm 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 praying that things is, is become different. Cause it's like you you just get tired of seeing the same shit every single day when you turn on your TV, when you turn on YouTube. And I ain't gonna lie, like there's a lot of times that shit happened and I'm not gonna ride with them. Like they had an incident with a guy in Indiana, he was shooting at the cops and he killed them. I ain't gonna have his back with that because you shouldn't even be trying to shoot at no cop. You know? You shouldn't. Like, you shouldn't be trying to kill no cop. Like, if you kill a cop, if you try to kill a cop, they got every right to shoot you. They got every right to do whatever they need to do to try to protect themselves. They got every fucking right. So, I ain't with that. You know? I, like I said, I ain't gonna go into all the other shit that's been going on. It's too much shit that's going on. I ain't really gonna get into that, yo. I'll say that shit for another day. But, um, we, 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 we want cops to be respected, right? We want them to, to honor their oath and go out there and do the job that they get paid for. Don't just go out there and just arrest somebody because you don't like the color of their skin or you don't like them because they know their rights. Do everything about the books. And we don't see that. We don't see them doing that. Instead, we see them doing the opposite. Now, I think this is just me. And I think we all should, everybody should fucking sign a petition for this in New York City. All over the five boroughs in New York, we should be like, yo, Every cop that that is on payroll right now, and I and I know I probably got a few cops. I know I got a couple cops that watch my channel. Shout out to you, cause I know if you watch my channel, I hope that if you watch my channel, you 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 good people, like you you decent, like you are a, a, um not a tyrant. You know, honor your oath. That's what it's about, right? Um, if you are watching, listen. They need to have the chief to sit down with each cop that are that's being paid by tax dollars that is on payroll for the NY Police Department. They need to sit them down and be like, we're gonna look, we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at from the time that you became an officer, we're gonna look at your chart, at your at your um your profile and we're going to look and we're going to see how many good reviews you had and how many bad reviews you had we're going to look at that because if you are a cop in america doesn't matter what what department you are and i'm, I'm speaking for new york because i live in new york i'm from new york but this shit could happen in any other city it don't even matter it could be it could be atlanta it could be it could be la it could be new york it could be anywhere in America, yo. They need to be sitting these cops down. I don't care if they are if they've been on if they've been in the force for five years, ten years, twenty years, it doesn't even matter. Bring every one of them cops, bring them. I don't care if they're a, a, a detective, I don't care if they're um it, it doesn't even matter the rank. It doesn't even matter. Because when it comes to rank, if you're a higher rank, then you should know better. If you're a detective, you should know better. You should be setting example for the rookies, for the people who's under you. From the super, from the from the um, the chiefs, 
to the sergeants, you guys should be setting an example for the people that's below you. Hear me out, yo. Every cop in America ain't bad. Every cop that put on that uniform that go out and that's driving in that police car is not bad. There's been some times where good cops have been killed. Why? Because people just hate cops, yo. And it doesn't even matter. You see a cop walking down the street, he got a uniform on. A person that doesn't have the 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 um the the the, the mental capacity, the the intellect, the, the 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 proper intelligence to know that every cop that puts on that uniform is not a bad cop. But they're looking at it as in, well, he has a uniform, he's a cop, he ain't shit, fuck the police. Nah. We gotta give him a we gotta give him a chance, we gotta hear him out. We gotta see what type of cop they are there is. And this is what I'm saying. Every cop should be set down. Doesn't even matter how long. And and go down a list of of who they had who they had a problem with in their career what what had they did product, productive what had they did that was um positive in a community what did they do did they arrest somebody um did they arrest an innocent person were they were they um on trial for murder um whatever crime that's going on whatever crime that's a felony whatever it is whatever it is that they did and they still they still have a job if the bad outweigh the good Get rid of them. Fuck them. Get rid of them. Take their gun. Take their badge. Take everything. Yeah, you're done. You're fired. Next. This is what we should do. This is what we should do from now on. Nah, don't don't completely just say we don't need the police. Because we do need them. We need the good ones. We need the ones who's out there. Who's, um, that wanted to do something for their community. They wanted to be, uh, um... A standing a, a stand-up human being they wanted to, to to honor their oath they wanted to go out there and show everybody that I became an officer because I I wanted to take the bad guys off the streets right but not only that I wanted to come out I wanted to be an officer because I wanted to make my community proud I won't just arrest somebody I will listen to them I would hear what they're saying. I would, you know, give them a chance to try to turn their life around. The ones that don't do that, fuck it, yo. Get rid of them. Tell them that you're done, you're fired, that's it. We don't need you here no more. We don't need you in this department no more. Next, in every individual it doesn't matter what rank they is you sit in that 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 office and you listen to what the chief have to say and that's it we need police officers we need cops out there in the streets we need we need cops out there um protecting um the city but we don't need bad cops protecting the city. We need good cops protecting the city. I ain't gonna go into. I I got a list, yo. I got a fucking list of the of shit that I've seen in the last ten years. Crazy thing about it, there's been cops that got away with murder. There's cops that have got away with so much shit, and it's still fucking. In the department They're still getting a check Get rid of them cops man Get rid of them cops Take Yo take their gun away 
take the badge away and say, you know what? Nah. We don't need you here. We don't need you here making our city look bad. Fucking up. Fucking it up for everybody else. Because remember. The bad cops. The good cops? No. The good cops. No, no. The bad cops get the good cops get the good cops killed. My cousin and I I'm sorry I, I went on too long. I wasn't I didn't plan on going long um uh too long with this video. You know, I wanted to keep it short and simple and I wanted to keep it to a minimum of like maybe 13 minutes. I want now I'm in 20 minutes right now. I'm sorry I didn't mean to go this long. I apologize. I'm hoping that everybody watch this video. Share the video the share the video, like the video, and most importantly subscribe. Right? This ain't about money. Getting money on, on YouTube. This ain't even about that because my channel ain't even fucking monetized. Right? Um My cousin was telling me that she was reason, reading something about a situation that happened out in um in Sacramento, in California, right? Where th there was a traffic stop, right? Where they had one cop who was on the on the police force for about eight years or nine. The other one about three years, right? Now. If you got a cop that's been on a that's been in the force for eight or nine years, and the other cop been on the force for three years, then the person who has the most years should be obviously have the most experience, right? But it wasn't the person that had an attitude that was the person who's been a cop for eight or nine years has been on the force for that long. It was the cop who had three years that violated the guy's rights, took the guy out of his car, opened his car door. Took the guy out of his car, started searching him and all of that. And the cop that's been in the lead, the cops that's been on on the force for eight years, you know what he did? He said, "Yo, nah, this is not what we do. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's not what we do. That's not why. This is not what our oath. We can't rep. We can't wear this oath and 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 represent our oath like that. We can't." We can't you and you definitely can't be my partner being like that. You give me a fucking bad name, bro. And you know what he did? He said, Don't worry, I got this. Go sit in the go go sit in the car, I got this. I'ma try to find a video, yo. I'ma try to find the video. I lost the video. I don't know. Somebody sent it to me and I fucking I don't know what happened, but I lost the video. And I said, Wow, this is what we need. But we don't got people like that. We don't got cops like that now. We don't got cops that that would do that. But I am glad, right? I'm glad that that shit that happened out in Atlanta. And don't get me wrong, I'm getting to another. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna jump to a different topic and then I'm gonna end the video, right? I'm just talk about this for briefly. I ain't gonna go into the this about. I ain't gonna go too deep with this. The shit that happened in Atlanta with the with the guy who get it, who got killed by the cop, right? He got shot twice in the back. They said that the cop um, kicked him, and then the other cop st uh, stood on his neck or his arm with his foot, right, out of Atlanta, right? That cop is testifying against the other cop, Rolf. They testifying against him because you know why? You know why? This dude, Brosnan, Brosnan, whatever his name is, I don't know I, if I'm saying his name wrong. I apologize. Y'all tell me the 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 the, um, the guy's name, Brosnan, Brosnan. I don't know his name. He don't want to go down as being a bad cop. He don't want to go down as being a tyrant. He don't want to go down as, yo. I witnessed my partner killing somebody, and I didn't do nothing about it. He ended up st standing on the guy's arm. But I know he felt bad about that. And you could tell. You know why? Because how many times do we see cops 
testify against other cops. We don't see that shit. That it's like it's never hurt. People don't want to be a snitch. See, at the end of the day, right? I hate snitching, right? I hate when somebody tells on somebody else, right? But when it comes to something like that, yo, you gotta tell yo, you gotta, you gotta clear your name. You gotta clear your name. I mean, he wasn't the one that shot the guy, but the fact that he had his arm, I mean, his leg on the guy's arm, I don't think that that cop was racist. I don't think that the cop meant like any harm to the guy, uh, Brooks. I think I'm saying his name, Rayshard Brooks. But he probably panicked. He probably was scared. But the fact that he's willing to testify against his partner shows what type of dude he is. It shows the type of cop he is. So, uh, like I said, I ain't gonna go into. I ain't gonna go too deep about that. I ain't gonna go in more detail about that. You guys already know. You guys seen the video. Um, but back to that defunding shit, yo. We don't need police. We need cops. We need good cops out here. All the bad cops, take them out. Of, fire all of them, and bring in and bring in people who are gonna actually come into whatever department they're gonna go, and be good cops and represent that department to the best of their ability and and wear that uniform proud and and honor their oath respect citizens rights man respect that every citizen have constitutional rights and respect it y'all leave me a comment man let me know what y'all think about the video man um i am I am definitely going to be making more videos later on, man, okay? Sorry I took too long with the video, but I just wanted to come out here, and I know I didn't... My goal, the, the whole plan was to make a short video. Um, I didn't want to make a long video, but like I said, I had to get a lot of shit off my chest. I didn't even know it was going to come out like that, but... Like the video, guys. Share the video. Subscribe. I'm out. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Um... Once again, get all the fucking bad cops off the streets. Bring in people that will be better than them. Way better than them. You cops out there that are killing innocent people. You cops out there that are arresting innocent people. Just doing dumb shit. Fuck you. You're a disgrace.